If you want to join the Brooklyn Hospital Center, Mount Sinai Hospital Cardiovascular Fellowship Program, it's for people that want the best of both worlds, both a community setting as well as a tertiary care advanced setting. The Brooklyn Hospital Mount Sinai Cardiology Fellowship allows physicians to receive a comprehensive training in the entire spectrum of cardiovascular diseases. Our mission is to provide a supportive environment with the purpose of developing top-tier physicians who deliver compassionate and evidence-based care. Fellows spend roughly half of their time at both the main campus of the Mount Sinai Hospital and the Brooklyn Hospital Center. At the Brooklyn Hospital Center, a large urban community hospital with nearly 500 beds and a deep-rooted history, our trainees get the opportunity to learn the practice of real-world cardiology with a high-volume patient exposure and unparalleled autonomy. A lot of these patients are from underserved areas and it allows you to foster your development with regards to treating all types of patients. It allows us to get both perspectives as an academic and as well as a private or community-based doctor. And I would say often we'd see patients who might have never seen a doctor in 30 or 40 years and they're well into their 60s and 70s and present with an advanced stage of their heart failure. There's a lot to learn at Brooklyn Hospital. In Brooklyn, that service is a one fellow service. So technically you are the consult fellow, you are the electrophysiology fellow, you are the interventional coordinating fellow, and you're also the ICU cardiology fellow. You're a jack of all trades in a sense. This allows you to dive straight into the cardiology fellowship program. In our first year they try to expose us to all the different types of general cardiology so we do some time in the CCU, general consults, we get exposed to the beginnings of heart failure and electrophysiology and some rotations in interventional cardiology and then in the second and third years we have some more research dedicated time, some more time in congenital heart disease service or the vascular service. In Main Mount Sinai Hospital you get exposed to a great academic institution a lot of specialty services, and leaders in every field possible. At the main campus, there is exposure to the most complex patients being managed with the most contemporary treatments in the field. There is routine interaction with diverse and tremendously accomplished, often nationally renowned faculty, and a wonderful opportunity to explore scholarly activity. Going into a tertiary care, like a large center like Mount Sinai Hospital, I was able to see lots of things that you wouldn't see in these hospitals with regards to LVADs or heart transplants or a lot of these advanced heart failure therapies that don't get sent to these normal community hospitals. It's just awe-inspiring that you, you have all these types of advanced services and treatments for these patients that we can manage medically with regards to the community center, but in order to get them truly to the point where they're getting the top-level treatment, Mount Sinai Hospital is able to give that to them. There is wonderful camaraderie within the hospital system, and we consider it an honor and privilege to be part of the larger Mount Sinai family. It's a three-year program, but there's only two people per year. So you have a core group of six people that you get really close-knit with them. The best part is really the fellows themselves. They're all promoting each other's education. If there's any interesting cases, we all talk about it. You kind of foster an environment that is both for education for yourself and others. And it's just a spiral of constant improving of others. So I would say just having that core group is important. We look forward to welcoming the next year's class.